Well, hello, chat, and welcome to the weekend. It is an exciting time. We are in election season, and we're about to find out if Mr. Sargon's going to Parliament. I see that there's quite a few based Kakarinos in the chat. They've crawled out from under their fucking rocks at KIA and the GG thread on V. Well, you're welcome to welcome to hang out with us as we wait for those poll results to come in. I don't want to fuck with these guys. They're some dangerous hombres. I'm, I'm well aware of how dangerous Kekistan can be. I don't want to get Chatelaine to shit and back. All right, when you look at these motherfuckers, you know you're in for a treat. They mean business. I am Kekistan. I'm Brockus, and I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am a pure Kekistani. You can tell by my woolly hair that I have 100% Kekistani genes in my blood. I am Kekistan. 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 We are Kekistan. I am 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 Kekistan, motherfuckers. I am Kekistan. I I am Kekistan. 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 Kekistan is about the sovereignty of the individual. And I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. Ani Tsioni, Ani Kekistan. Main Kekistan hum. Soy Kekistan. Ana Kekistanium. Today give Kekistan. I'm Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. It's like this special needs volleyball team decided to get together and make a fucking YouTube video. If there's ever been a more apt time for retards, rise up in the chat. Can I get an RRU for our fellow Kekarinos? <laughs> can, can we give our Chatelet brothers an RRU? I know they're here out to support uh, the Dawn, Capo Supreme, Sargoon. But uh, we, we could show a little courtesy, give them a retards, rise up. I think that's uh, much appreciated for them. <laughs> Painful, was it, chat? What are you talking about? You're looking at the brain trust of the skeptics right there. That's an army. That's I, If I saw that walking across the field at me, I'd be running the other direction. Dig my ass a foxhole and just jump on in it. I've seen a lot of RRUs. See, we're welcoming people here. We're loving, caring, and kind. Oh, we've got, we've got some fun stuff in store. Now, I have a video going up after the stream ends uh, that'll focus on Sargon's campaign. And the video's done, so I can't alter it. So if this, if he wins, it's, I'm going to look like an asshole. But I, I really, you know, I'm just going to put my speculation out right now. I don't think he's going to win, but I could be wrong. You know, miracles happen. Sometimes Corky makes a fucking touchdown. What can you do? Well, let's go over some basic stuff before we kill a little bit of time here. Uh, these are the estimated times for the declaration. Now, what you need to know about uh, this election for MEPs, because maybe a lot of you don't know, I sure as shit didn't until I started paying attention to it, is that Sargon is running in the region of the Southwest. That's 11 p.m. their time. So roughly sometime in the next two hours, we're going to know. We'll start to get some, some uh, results uh, a little sooner than that, but Sargon specifically within the next two hours. Now, I had planned to do this stream earlier. I was going to do it on Thursday. That's when people in the UK voted. But apparently, it's a fucking criminal offense to talk about the voting results before today. 
before 10 p.m. Britbong time. If you were to talk about it, do exit polling, share any of the results, it's a fucking criminal offense from the land of illegal sporks and butter knives. So that's not really fucking surprising to me. <laughs> it threw my it threw my shit through a bit of a loop, I'll be honest, but rescheduled. We're good to go. We're good to go. Now, maybe a lot of you haven't really paid attention. How's Sargon doing in the polls? Uh, you know, can't really trust those polls, right? Fake news and all that. But there's some polls that have come out to kind of give you an idea of what it's looking like, what we might be expecting. So uh, one poll, <laughs> one poll. Uh, and this is, by the way, uh, what I'm showing you is the best case scenario. Of like the 10 different polling agencies, this is the best number. Sargon's running under the UKIP party. United uh, Kingdom Independence Party at a whopping 3%. And no, your eyes, your eyes don't deceive you. Change UK, also known as CUC, has a higher percentage. So according to polling at the moment, Sargon of Akkad is getting his ass kicked by CUCs. Just let that sink in for a minute, my fellow Kekarunos. Think, think about that, my, my little Chatelet stranglers. CUCs are kicking UKIP's ass. Shameful. Sad. Sad, really. Sad, really. Uh, there's another poll that's out there, too. Uh, this one gives a prediction on how many seats they're going to have. A whopping a whopping zero. Zero uh, retained seats. Back in 2014, UKIP took 24 seats at the EU Parliament with uh, MEPs representing their party. Uh, they are predicted to have zero seats this time. Fucking stunning, really, when you think about it. <laughs> now, just to put this into comparison before I explain how it works with these weird little fuckers in Europe, Brianna Wu, when uh, Brianna Wu ran for office, Brianna Wu got 22, 23% of the vote. So it's theoretically possible that by the end of this stream, not only will Carl have been beaten by cucks, but he'll have been beaten by Brianna fucking Wu. <laughs> Bri Brianna Wu was the one that thought moon rocks could fall on the earth. <laughs> if you throw a rock high enough on the moon, it's going to fall on the earth. That's who's polling better than fucking Carl is right now. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. Holy shit. So, how does it work? Well, from what I understand, and I, I could be wrong, but this is my understanding how this works. In the southwest region, they're going to be picking six MEPs. Multiple parties are in there right now. I think eight to nine different parties have representatives. And each party has a list of candidates, ranked from number one to six. Carl is number two on UKIP. And the way it works is you take the percentage, and that uh, person with the highest percentage, let's say the Brexit party, takes first place at 50%. So they'd get one MEP seat. You'd then take their percentage and half it, and they'd move down the list at 25%. So the higher your percentage, it keeps getting half, but you could get more and more seats. So for, for Sargon to take an MEP position in the Southwest, I, I'm guessing, and I could be a little off here, but he's going to need between 22 to 24%. UKIP is going to have to pull 22 to 24% in the Southwest for him to get elected. Again, <laughs> again, the polling numbers are sitting at a whopping 3%, getting beaten by the cucks. Now, maybe if Sargon was pulling Brianna Wu numbers, he would have a chance. In fact, if, if, if Sargon was pulling Brianna Wu numbers, he'd be getting elected MEP, maybe. But uh, a, a far way away from that. 19 to 20% trailing behind Bri Brianna fucking Wu. Shameful. Now, people haven't been really super positive about uh, what's going on with you, Kip, in the press. And I'm not I'm not talking about the I wouldn't even rape you or the the dirty smear merchants, any of that. I'm just talking about people looking at numbers and prospects for a party to survive. And this this is one of those articles. No chance of a seat helped to hasten his party's total demise. The party looks likely to plummet from first place to last. If you look at that far right hand column, that's you, Kip. Notice all those names are in white. Lawrence Webb is their number one candidate. Uh, according to this prediction, uh, even he's not going to get a fucking seat. Brexit party, probably two seats. After that, Labour. And then Lib Dems and Conservatives. And then maybe Brexit again. And then and then on to Change UK. That's the cucks. And then the Green Party. And nothing for UKIP.
I don't know if that's going to hold true. We're going to find out as those numbers start to roll in as we wait for the election results to find out if Sergeant of Smirt is going to be getting paid a big 60,000 pound dollar dues in MEP salaries along with a quarter of a million pounds in staffing funds. It's a lot of money for that position. That's yearly. Some big bucks involved. Makes uh, Patreon look like chump change. <laughs> oh, God, this has been a fucking train wreck to watch. It has been, this has been, frankly, one of the most entertaining things I've ever watched. To watch a YouTuber enter politics and then pretty much do everything wrong that you could ever do when trying to get a fucking elected seat is really something else. I've been following this now for like 30 days, and uh, it's like soap operas here. It, it's hard to look away. Every time, every, it's like every time he could do the wrong thing, he does do the wrong thing. It's it's frankly amazing. I don't know how he keeps doing it. He's batting a thousand, uh, facing the other direction. So he's just beating motherfuckers behind the umpire. Everybody's screaming at him and waving their arms. Carl, stop! You're swinging the wrong direction. What are you doing? He doesn't. He doesn't even care. He's not even paying attention. Getting beaten in the back of the head with the fucking baseball. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I know where I'm aiming. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sargon, you know, it, it's weird when you try to present yourself as a political candidate and then you're making statements like this. Well, I will be a terrible elected representative. Don't elect me to anything. Don't do it. I'm promising you now, you don't want me to run anything. <laughs> don't elect me. I'd be fucking terrible. It's a bad idea to give me power. Just openly saying that, and joining a political party, and then driving it straight into the dirt. Pretty amazing. I'm going to be honest with you. Pretty spectacular, really. I, I mean, it's gotten to the point with Sargon that uh, people are showing up and treating it like a fucking carnival event. When you've got senior citizens showing up to your fucking speaking tour and saying shit like this, it's probably time to go home. Why are you here, sir? Oh, no, you're here for see me, aren't you? I'm here for the lols, really. I'm here for the lulz. My my grandchildren explained to me that you're a fucking living clown. And so I decided to come out and see what's up with that. <laughs> I know, I know. Sargon's out there. He's got a goal. One solid goal with his uh, whole political candidacy. Trigger the libs. Own the libs. But I get the feeling the only buddy going to be owned at the end of the night might be Sargon himself. Not uh, Not looking super good. I mean, the, the only positive, really, for this entire campaign is the delicious milkshakes, I, I guess. Because everywhere Carl has gone, he's been beamed in the fucking head with milkshakes. Somebody, somebody actually threw fish at his head. He's been hit with more milkshakes than any other political candidate. Nigel Farage, Tommy Robinson, you could add them together and they still would be less than the amount of shit that's been thrown at him. <laughs> Every place he goes, people just, it's like a game. They want to see who can who can successfully bean him in the head with a fucking milkshake. Or living living fucking creatures. Fish. They're throwing kippers at him. You know, get it? Kippers? You kip? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I don't know. You know, we really need to discuss, I think, where Sargon is on his dopamine scale. I've, I've done some scientific research. I've really put in the effort here, I think. And I've come up with this. I call it the Sargon Sleepiness Index. And you can see level one, he's wide awake, very, very excited. Dopamine levels are extremely high. Owning the libs, triggering the libs, dunking on those fucking SJWs and the feminists. Then you kind of start to slide into level two. Uh, made an ass of yourself. Not looking too good. You're getting laughed at and mocked. Dopamine levels are sinking drastically. It's not looking good. Getting very sleepy. Eyelids are getting heavy. It's very hard to keep your head up. And then you start to slide into level three. And that's really the point of no return. There's no, there's no escape for you. Your dopamine levels are at critical. We're talking 10% or less. It's not looking good. Can't even keep those eyes open. Have to have, have to, have to have like a staffer force them open and put duct tape on them to keep them open. And right now, I'd wager he's hovering between a level two and a level three. The election results haven't come in le yet, so there's a chance of divine intervention. But if that divine intervention doesn't happen, oh, you'd better believe we're going to have to put a level four on this scale for negative dopamine. 
It's I don't even know how that works. It's like a mystery. It's like antimatter. What what how does that function exactly? Is, is there some kind of explosive collision that's going to happen? I don't know. But he's on his way to to level 4. Terrible. Just just terrible. Well, at the very least, he's got some good solid support. I mean, it's it's good to have people in your corner. When he joined, you kept uh, Paul Joseph Watson joined with him. Uh, obviously, Count Dankula did as well. Uh, Count Dankula is running in Scotland. I believe he's a fourth seat. So Carl's second seat, I think Dankula is a fourth seat. But I don't know what's going on with them, so I couldn't really tell you what his chances are. But nonetheless, he's got he's got people in his corner. And good, loyal people that always stand by his side. You know, like Paul Joseph Watson, who did a video, Why I Joined UKIP, celebrating it, telling people, go donate and join. And then the day of the election, the fucking day of the election, retweets the Brexit party, which is uh, the rival to the UKIP party, and supports Nigel Farage. Talk about Paul Joseph Watson just shoving that knife deep in there, just right up, right up in between those shoulder blades. Talking about like Red Wedding, fucking Game of Thrones shit, Paul Joseph Watson just fucked him, just fucked him solid. Yeah, I'm in your corner, buddy. Oh, I love, I love UKIP. UKIP's great. By the way, when election day comes along, fuck UKIP. I'm voting Brexit party. Nigel Farage, all the way, buddy. Oh, <laughs> god damn. Oh, that could be worse. I mean, fuck. That's just a guy he knows. I mean, imagine how embarrassing it would be if you had a staff member, somebody that worked for you, that voted for the opposition. You know, like this person, who works for Sargon. Who... <laughs> Who posted a picture of them voting for the Brexit party? <laughs> Just take a minute to think about that. This person is an assistant to Sargon, and they're voting for the Brexit party. Fuck you, Kip. Brexit all the way. Oh, that's hurtful. That's gonna that's gotta sting a little bit. Betrayal, yes, chat. It is a betrayal. It's a sad. A sad <laughs> imagine my shock. Indeed. <sighs> well, at least we got great posters out of this. I mean, I think these really speak well for the UKIP party. When I read these direct quotes, I think I want to run out and vote for this guy. This is my dude. <laughs> that quote is gold. How could you not think that's the perfect politician? That's This is the person that's going to represent me in the European Parliament. Don't don't see what uh, don't see what the problem is, okay, guys? I mean, you gotta have a little gotta have a little faith. Da, 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 da. <laughs> God shit! Oh, what a disaster! What a fucking disaster! There, there's so many points I could go over. You know, different examples of why it's a disaster. But th that's really condensed into the video. It's about a half an hour long. When this stream is over, we'll upload it. But for now, we're just going to relax. We're going to wait for those poll numbers to come in. We're going to we're going to take a look and see just how things unfold. Maybe take a look at the past. Some of those past adventures with uh Sergen. In fact, you know, why don't we why don't we go take a journey to the past? You know, I think that's a good idea. Let's go look at some cuz Sargon is a, just a brilliant individual, really gifted, I'd say. Has a lot of really smart ideas. And oh, why don't we look at some of the super smart yeah, ideas uh, that Sargon has had? Uh, one one such uh, brilliant idea that graced our uh, <laughs> our fucking savant here was uh, I, I don't know if I want to spoil it. I'll be honest with you. I, I want it to be a bit of a surprise, but we kill a little time watching this just to give you an idea of uh, how smart uh, Carl is when it comes to uh, planning and foresight. So this would have been God, how long ago was this? This was like last year, I believe. Yeah, this was this was definitely last year. And Sargon came up with a brilliant a brilliant idea to totally totally own those fucking libs because you got to trigger them. The libs need to be triggered. All right, that's the mantra of Kekistan. Trigger the libs, own the libs. And we'll do whatever we can to get those goddamn dirty libs. So he decided to come on stream uh, with myself and a few other people and pitch a, a brainchild of an idea. So let's take a look at uh, some of that. I, I might have to jump around a little bit to get the exact timestamp, but like I said, we're killing time. 
We got nowhere to go. We're waiting for those results to roll in. Uh, here we go. UKIP. It sounds, it sounds like he would. Helping UKIP. Well, but this, you're talking in American context or Canadian context. How does, I mean, I thought you were like, you know, kind of jumping in the political cycle over there. How does this help them? I'm not saying it helps anyone. Are you guys about helping people, are you? I, I don't, I, I legit have no idea what you're <laughs> going for. I wouldn't come here. to you if I wanted help, Jim. Let's be honest. I mean, like, I saw the last stream <laughs> you did where you're like uh, saying, I don't care about anyone here. I don't care about Ralph. You know, you, you don't come to you for help, Jim. You know, we well, come you, to you. For you a already did, and I told you no. Sorry. Look, listen, listen, right? If someone comes to you at all, it's because they want a god almighty troll, a troll to end all trolls. That's what they come to you for. Okay, I, I just want to hear the pitch idea because, uh, yeah, yeah be I'm still. You, the I'm last, like, really the last, uh, to set the stage in case anybody's curious, he had been speaking for about a half an hour to this point, telling us he had the most glorious idea that's ever, ever touched a human mind. <laughs> Nobody knew what the fuck he wanted to talk about. Last time you pitched me an idea, okay, and I, I you can go reread the conversation was on Skype, I, I and Google care. was. I, I don't care. I, I want to just make the record clear. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what was crushing. When Google was crushing. Why would you let me finish my finish. point? When Google because you're was... making a silly point. What's you just you don't want to be about? embarrassed. I know you don't want to be embarrassed. Jim, let me finish my story. Sargon, well, then you let me talk, won't you? You let me talk. Yes, let, let's talk one at a time. Let's, yeah, thank you. It's a big boy one conversation. Do, we do don't you want the pitch or not? You really don't want this story out there, do you? Jim, you've done a stream about it, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, Jim, just release it. I don't care. Just release it. I just want to go over the conversation, the last great idea you had, the big brained idea you had before about Google and how you could fight back against the apocalypse. Was oh, by no, taking, what was it? I can't remember. You, 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 you were so excited. You told me, Jim, we just have to tell everybody uh, that we're Google's friends. We have to, if we appease, you, you quite literally yeah, went the I did, method. I if we it. appease Google, yeah. Google will fight for us and give us our money back. Well, and it I turns told out you that was, was retarded. We didn't have that. Did, did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because I mean, it's just a terrible idea. Oh, right. so, uh, true story. True facts. Uh, you know, behind the scenes lore. He actually did contact me uh, with this brilliant idea. They're all free. I don't have ads on my video, so Adpocalypse doesn't mean shit to me. But for a lot of content creators, for whatever reason, really spooked them. So <laughs> Sargon gets a hold of me. I uh, wants to have a, a conversation on Skype, and he explains to me, uh, with his big brain, you know, I can't really, can't grasp uh, the intellect, I'm just a pleb, but he explains to me that the best way to get Google to give you your money back is to essentially kiss their ass and say, Google's done nothing wrong. The Alphabet Corporation's the greatest company that's ever existed, and he was certain that if, if we did that, if every YouTuber got together and told everybody how great Google was, and that YouTube was just terrific, they'd be like, hey, fuck it. Here's your ad revenue back. Uh, yeah, I'll fast forward a little bit on this story. Never happened. Google didn't give a shit. The stuff that was going on with the uh, advertisers and the corporations and you know the parent companies like Alphabet, they don't give two fucks what a YouTuber thinks. <laughs> they, they don't care. They're billion-dollar multinational corporations. And telling them how great their cum tastes <laughs> is it going to make them pat you on the head? So okay, I want to hear, yeah, I wanna yeah, hear your next right idea. Was, I want to hear your next did you see the? Did you see the good censor thing? I did. Yeah, we read the yeah, entire we, we article read the, on our We read the Breitbart yeah. leaks, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was that all out when I had that conversation with you? Well, it's just kind of common sense. Why would you expect a mega is corporation to give two sense? fucks a, 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 about a lot of YouTubers? I don't know. Maybe, Sir, you, maybe thought not. If, you thought if you were their friends, they were going to protect you. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Who knows? You well, know, no, we thought, obviously we it, it was because we've seen how it played out with the leaks. Okay, that, okay great. great. So yeah, I, now we, I want to hear what your next great idea is. That one thing was true and one thing was false. Okay. I want to hear what your next great idea is. So I'm, how does Gamergate I'm, help yeah. us take I'm not going to lie. I'm world. actually interested. Like, I don't know what where you're going okay. with this, man. And I really just don't know. Like, I'm, I'm completely okay. lost. I'm lost. I, I can't believe that you haven't figured it out yet. Well, I mean, the only thing I could figure out, it sounded like you were talking about resurrecting Gamergate. That's the only thing no, I could figure out. No. But maybe I'm off base. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Gamergate, it, obviously, it doesn't exist anymore. Right? It's not an activist not movement really, on no. the internet anymore. Yeah. Right? We all understand this, right? So whenever I say Gamergate, 
I'm not saying us as activists doing things for ethics and video games journalism. Okay, we might have breaking news here. Let me just let me just shut this off for a second. This might be a shorter stream than I imagined. People are telling me the results are in. I, I God, if they are already. <laughs> I can't, who's going to look like an asshole today? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's Sargon. We're going to find out momentarily if the results actually are in. Uh, again, fingers crossed, everybody. The fine time might be, be... It's a little bit early, I'll be honest with you. I thought it'd be another hour before we'd get any results, but we'll find out. We'll find out. People are saying... People are saying... Oh, 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 here we go. That's West Midlands. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll show you the West Midlands results. Uh, why not? Here, we'll look and see if we can find more results, too. Uh, here is UKIP's performance in the West Midlands. Breaking news. Brexit Party, 36%. Uh, Labor, 35%. Lib Dems, 7.2%. Green Party, 6.7%. UKIP, 5.9%. Uh, down 24% from last time. UKIP last time, they in 2014 when they ran in the West Midlands, had a whopping 30%. Now they're at 5.9%. Well done. Well done. Oh, that's... Well, you know, they, they tied the Conservatives. Very, uh, you know, tied them up. Very good. And uh, they, they just barely beat the Cucks. <laughs> they, they doubled the Cucks numbers, but they lost to the Green Party. Hurtful. A little bit hurtful. Let's see if we can find some more results. Since they're all coming in. <laughs> just shit. Uh, yep, uh, a lot of people talking about how Change UK are performing worse than UKIP. Well, not a surprise. They're called the Cucks. But let's find out. Oh, I, I need to know the specific. We need to know the Southwest. Did Sargon get himself a seat or not? We'll find out uh, pretty quick here. If somebody wants to tweet that specific poll to uh, my boy, that'd be great. Uh, that would be... That would be great. Up, oh, it looks like Paul Joseph Watson again wasn't, you know, wasn't content with uh, spitting in Sargon's mouth after fucking him in the ass. Uh, again, remember. <laughs> so he's decided he wanted to add a little bit more injury uh, to the insult. Early results looking great for the Brexit party. Remember, this is a dude that made a video joining UKIP with Sargon and Dankula, and it's pretty much a uh, let's jump, let's jump ship right fucking now. Ouch. That's going to hurt a little bit. That's, that's, I'm not going to lie, it's going to hurt a teeny tiny bit. Oh, let me see if I can find these results. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. We're, 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 we're only, we're, we're just all over the place. People saying Sargon won. People saying Sargon blown the fuck out. You know who I can go check? Let's go check out, I believe it's Britain Alex or it's Election Maps UK. One of the two will have some information, I'm sure. Final EU Parliament predictions? No, that's not looking good. Uh, okay, they don't have any information. I, I'm looking for it, folks. Bear with me. Again, I wasn't expecting any results from the Southwest until uh, about another hour. Half an hour to another hour. But we will we will see. Maybe Britain Alex has some information for us. Find out. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, oh, we do, we do... Oh, no! Okay. All right, well, we've got some Southwest results. Let's take a look. From Bait Northeast Somerset, this is in the Southwest, the Lib Dems, 35%, a whopping gain of 20%. Brexit Party shooting up there with 26%, uh, underperformed, but still obviously doing better than a lot of people. Green Party, 20%. Conservatives, 6%. Labor, 5.4%. Cucks sitting at a nice, comfortable 2.9%. And then at the very bottom, getting their asses kicked by Cucks, UKIP at 2.3%. Down a whopping 22 fucking percent. Ouch. That is, uh, that's not good. That's, that, that is not looking good. Let me see if we can find some more data. Let's see if we can find some more information. Oh, how did it go in London? And let's just find out, you know, how's, how's UKIP doing everywhere? 
Uh, this is from uh, London, Sutton. Uh, Lib Dems taking first, Brexit in a solid second, followed by Labour, Conservatives, Green Party. Oh, what do you know? UKIP at the fucking bottom again at 3.4%. It's a nice negative 23%. UKIP's really, really wowing the people. I think Gerard, or Gerard, Gerard Batten, uh, the leader of the United Kingdom Independence Party, <laughs> is probably kicking a chair out right now. Oh, we've got uh, uh, Scotland. Scotland results? I don't know. This might give us an idea of how Dankel is doing. Again, I think he's fourth seat. I don't know, and I don't know how Scotland breaks everything up. But let's take a look. SNP uh, taking first place, Brexit. Uh, Conservatives, Lib Dem, Green, Labour. Again, the cucks eking out UKIP by 0.1%. UKIP dropping 10 fucking percent. It's, uh, it's starting to look like a blowout. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe I'm misreading these. Maybe I'm not reading them properly. But chat, I think Kekistan is in trouble. This is not looking good. We've got another another from London here. I'm starting to notice a trend. What do you know? UKIP again on the bottom. The bottom bitch at Redbridge. Who's the bottom bitch of Redbridge? It be UKIP. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just, I'm looking through here. There's some, there's some of these that don't even have UKIP on it. That's how bad they did. <laughs> they did so bad, nobody's even concluding them in the fucking results. I, again, here's another uh, West Midlands. UKIP, bottom of the barrel. I, you know, there's only been one result I've seen so far where UKIP wasn't dead last. And that's only because the cucks underperformed. <laughs> that was once. By the way, they underperformed once. A lot of East Midlands, a lot of Southeast. I mean, that's what we were expecting. If we look at the little time chart we had earlier, you can see Northeast, Yorkshire, and Humber, uh, and then followed by the Southwest and East Midlands. So I, I don't know. Can I call it right now? Again, I'm not very familiar with how the Brit Bongs do this shit. And I'd hate to. Uh... <laughs> God, Jesus. Look at these losses. This is fucking catastrophic. Again, UKIP, they're not dead last this time. Conservatives are below them. But they're at tw they lost 30 fucking percent. And I think it's a good time to remind people that when UKIP was running, there were two different elections that took place. About two weeks ago, they had the local elections, which isn't related to the European Union. They had their local elections. UKIP lost 80% of the seats they defended. Now, this is their big chance. This is where UKIP is supposed to shine. And it's looking like that polling data that people were saying fake news and uh, bullshit MSM stuff. It's looking pretty fucking accurate. Those numbers are looking pretty goddamn accurate. UKIP has been anywhere from 2, well, I'm sorry, 1% to 6%. I bet if we average them all out, that's going to hit about 3 I don't even know if Jared Batten's going to retain his MEP seat. Uh, he said he would leave the party if he didn't retain his seat. And I'm, I'm getting the feeling that... Uh, ooh, that uh, <laughs> oh, God, this is the death. They're done. UKIP is done. Again, 2.9% dead last. I have not seen one of these where they're even close to being in the middle. It's either dead last or second to last. This is catastrophic absolutely fucking catastrophic <laughs> holy shit you guys this is wow the polling turned out to be accurate who saw that coming <laughs> who saw that coming all right chat i don't want to bore you by getting too deep into the details just yet we have a lot more election results coming in i'm going to give it a little bit of time and we'll we'll take a look back but so far from what we've seen from the three different areas that are reporting numbers so far. UKIP has come in dead last in every single fucking race, except one, where they were second to last. So round of round of applause for beating the Cucks once. You, you beat the, the Cucks have beat you two out of three. A party that named themselves Cuck is defeating you. I I don't know how that's even possible, really. But uh, congratulations. That's that's uh, that's something. So we'll give them some time to recover, I guess. 
and we'll go back to listening to uh, some older stuff. We're, we're going to take our time, let the results roll in. I'll get to the Super Chats. I know a lot of people have thrown them out. Um, I will get to them. I'll make sure to read them all and respond. But let's let's return to our discussion with Surgan of Smirt telling us about what his big brain ch- <laughs> brainchild idea was going to be this time. Setting the stage again. Uh, the last time he had pitched a big idea to me. Uh, he had decided that um, he wanted to be Google's best friend, and that's the way he was going to get monetized again. <laughs> you know, speaking of that, actually, hold on. I just want a, a little blast from the past, uh, because I have a feeling it's going to be important. I'm just going to let this play for a second. This is from uh, Sargon's Hello Jim stream, where he totally epically owned me. Uh, just listen to what he had to say. Jim, I'm not even under any threat here. You notice that I don't have a strike on my channel, I don't have a criminal record, I wasn't arrested for a video that I uploaded, I'm not the one who's going to go to jail if I don't pay the 800 fine, I am not in any danger. I'm not in any danger, Jim. I'm not going to lose my channel. Nothing bad's going to happen to me. Let me give you a little status update on what's going on with our boy here. Uh, He's under two police investigations for multiple statements that he's made, from it depends on a child to I wouldn't even rape you, as well as a dossier that's been handed off to the uh, one of the police forces. Jess Phillips, the woman he said he wouldn't rape, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the fucking politician, uh, is going to sue him. Uh, she's already stated she's talking to lawyers and beginning a civil suit against him. So that's two police investigations and one civil litigation. Google has demonetized him. Remember, if he's just their best friend, they'll give him money. Apparently that's not going to work in this case either. He's lost his uh, monetization on his main channel. And I don't believe he's lost total monetization on the other ones, but they basically demonetized almost all of his videos. Facebook has put him on a hate list, which probably means he's going to lose his Facebook. Twitter has banned his political account, which is absurd, but they've done it nonetheless. So Sargon went from, again, this is a stream that was no more than seven months ago telling me he was on top of the world, nothing bad's going to happen. He knows how to handle politics. And here we are, on the eve of catastrophe, with UKIP utterly destroyed, Sargon humiliated in front of the world, loss of his monetization, loss of his Twitter account, potential loss of his Facebook account, demonetization throughout the entire YouTube account, and potential loss of the YouTube account. So what did he gain exactly? I get it. We want to teach those fucking libs a lesson, right? trigger the libs own the libs but at what cost carl (laughs) did you think this one through at all (laughs) you you dunked on those fucking sjw's bro and it only cost you everything well done can we get a tick chat can i get a tip of the hat can we get a tip of the hat to carl and the kekarinos for showing us the way oh that's a smart plan carl light yourself on fire to own the libs destroy your own life to own the libs I, I, I see the brilliance of this strategy. I don't know. Can we get that hat tip chat? Could, could you, <laughs> could you uh, just, you know, just show a little respect for the dawn? All right. It's how we, it's how the mafia uh, operates. Such a polite chat. Wow, I'm so impressed. Look at how nice you all are. That's why you're called the sweetie squad. So well behaved. Very proud of you all. All right. Let's go back to this cluster. God, this guy's a dumbass. All right. Let's go back to his uh, brilliant strategy. Or against, you know, you know, for any, we're not participating in Gamergate anymore, right? Uh, Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) Bravo. Bravo. Well done. Yeah. you, you, You guys are fab, right? Now, now, wait, you but quit that... Gamergate too, Sargon. Don't act yeah, like... you did. You said it was over. <laughs> you oh. made a big public thing about quitting Gamergate. Don't act like we did the <laughs> only ones. Did right, I okay. make a big public thing about quitting Gamergate? You sure there wasn't Jim? Oh, no. I, 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 made you... a, I wanted people to know how many faggots were involved in that movement. Yeah, you're, okay, no, you're yeah, absolutely... Yeah. You're no, but you did. You actually that. did. I mean, you put out a video like Gamergate's over, work done. I mean, am, am I off base? Like, I mean, yeah. if, if I'm wrong, you yeah, can... Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, quitting anything. It just means Okay, well, you said so. Anyway. All right. Getting back to it, right? So, but the idea of Gamergate is now imprinted in the narrative of the left, right? 
It's I I mean I still see see people talk about it from time to time yeah it's it's usually like scare tactics from from the media yes. and stuff yeah it's scare tactics they're they're worried about another GameGate coming along I I don't really think they are to be honest with you I think they've <laughs> got their own agenda going and you're forward just saying it for the sake of saying it Sargon what's dumb as fuck is saying let's do GamerGate two point oh I'd rather I'm fuck myself with a rake than do that but you know I know that's where you went. You, you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. Well, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong if you've got a better angle. Let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> no. Oh, that is some brilliant thinking. All right, guys, here's the plan. We're going to own the libs. By getting Donald Trump to talk about Gamergate. And then we're going to trigger the fuck out of the libs. Hear me up on the follow-up. We're going to go to George W.'s house. All right, you remember former President Bush? We're going to we're gonna get him to wear a Guy Fox mask and bake a cake for L. Ron Hubbard. And then we're going chinology up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Sargon kind of reminds me of the dude that played quarterback on a football team 23 years ago and won't shut up about that fucking touchdown. Like, he wants to relive that moment so badly. And his pitch was, we're going to get Donald Trump to talk about Gamergate. And what was the reason for that? To own the libs epic style. Why <laughs> not? But why would he, though? You just said Gamergate was well, over. Like... Why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in chief. <laughs> Why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> I mean, it usually he kind of gets involved in stuff that's like breaking well, news, you know what okay, I mean? Like, yeah. It seems to what be kind of okay, What would the benefit everything. even be to that? I mean, he's already made comments about Charlottesville uh, where he said there was violence on both sides. They got angry for like a week or two. It was in the mainstream media, and then they didn't give a shit. So what? Okay, let's say he does they go and say Gamergate wasn't a big deal. It, it, you, got, uh, you got a news blurb, and then nobody cares again. They still talk about Charlottesville all the time. So you want to you want to try to trick Donald Trump into really? talking about Gamergate? Why would I need to trick him? Well, because he's not obviously done it himself. So you're going to have to spur that along. I don't think he knows anything about Gamergate. This is the same Donald Trump that thinks uh, video games make people violent. This is the same Donald Trump that wants to put a 25 percent tariff tax on video game console and uh, game imports into the country from Asia. So the guy that really doesn't give a fuck about video games, Sargon's going to get him to put out a Gamergate 2.0 epic lib triggering tweet. Of course he doesn't. Most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally implied that he knew something, right? He, I, obviously my, listen, Sargo, my point my point is let me say this real quick my point is he usually gets involved in stuff he very much avidly follows the media but he usually gets involved in like breaking news stories or hot cultural topics Dude, like kneeling at on. the nfl he, games he and stuff like that this is kind of a twilight about not getting back together with the girl who cheated on him like Donald yeah Trump but that was before he was president so now he picks his Donald battles Trump a little more carefully understands the importance of culture sure yeah. he understands the importance of culture game brigade 2.0 hey chat he said Sargon's life is basically over and is imploded in real time for us today. If you've got a Twitter account, could you go could you go tweet out a hashtag Gamergate 2.0 rip and pepperoni Sargon? <laughs> Just to let him know you love him, Kekarinos. He's gonna need that support. He's really gonna need that support because we're gonna go look at some more poll results. Let's see how he's doing. Holy shit. Oh, this is fucking brutal. Look at this one. UKIP, 1%. Fucking 1%. <laughs> Just how, many, how many votes is that? Like three people show up and vote for them? Oof. Oh, that's painful. We've got more West Midlands. Let's take a look at uh, West Midlands. 3.7% uh, really lighten up the night tonight. Let's go take a look over here. UKIP, holy shit. <laughs> Uh, UKIP, 4.5%, uh, you know, not 1%. I guess that's something to be thankful for. Down 25%. Whew. Uh, let's, uh, more London results. Yorkshire and Humber. Uh, more West Midlands. 
I'm just gonna, I won't even show it to you. Uh, you kept last place, you kept last place, you kept last place, you kept last place. Uh, you kept second to last place. You kept last place. Oh, this is fucking brutal. You know, I'd feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a cunt, but I guess I don't feel sorry for him because he did it to himself. You know, when you're an attention whore and want to LARP as a martyr and then accidentally become a martyr at the same time destroying everybody's political ambitions around you. That's uh, quite stunning, really. He's destroyed... I want you to understand the Grim Reaper meme about Sargon and everything he touches dies, from the skeptics to the liberalists to the rationalists and every other dumb group that he's ever concocted in his stupid little mind. Everything he touches withers and dies. And he has wrapped his embrace around UKIP. And now they are falling to pieces. Jared Batten's brilliant plan to reach the youth vote and to pull people in to get them interested in the UKIP party was to invite in Dankula and Sargon and other YouTubers. Because clearly, if you're a guy that has, uh, what is it, uh, 900,000 subs on YouTube, that must translate into voters at the polls. And Jared Batten has found out uh, the hard way. He's learned a brutal lesson tonight, that he is a fucking retard. <laughs> that plan did not work out at all. Oh, I don't know if he's going to keep his seat. I keep seeing numbers from London. I'm fairly certain he's not going to. Uh, Jared Batten is up for re-election as head of UKIP in June. And I think he said he was going to step down altogether if he didn't retain his MEP seat. And it's looking like he's not going to. So I guess that's a power vacuum. Maybe this is the brilliant 4D chest of our liberalist here. Maybe he decided if he destroyed the party and drove everyone away from it, that he would be in charge of it. But like a, a fucking uh, a <laughs> carrion eater, a vulture, feeding on the dead, gorging himself on the rotten meat of a once proud party. Holy shit. He absolutely murdered UKIP. Now, I want to hear any of that bullshit about how it wasn't his fault. It totally was. For the last 30 days, they didn't get to talk about policies or planks or positions. Uh, none of that. Nobody got to talk about their big tentpole ideas. Every interview, every single sit-down, every TV appearance of any UKIP candidate, the first question they were asked is, what do you think about Carl Benjamin calling people niggers? What do you think about Carl Benjamin saying he wouldn't rape women? What do you think about Carl Benjamin talking about it depends on the age of the child. Every single one of them had to deal with that. Nobody could talk about politics. Holy shit, Sargon. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? You've murdered people's fucking careers. <laughs> it's another one. It just doesn't stop. You kept... 1.3%. I love, by the way, that every fucking UKIP result underneath it is Nigel Farage making a smug face. Uh, that's just fantastic. Uh, to be fair, Brexit Party did not do as well as they were predicted. Uh, Labor and Lib Dems have actually done better than expected. But still, Brexit Party way fucking ahead of UKIP. Way ahead of them. Oh, damn. That's right, chat. This is why, if you're a political party, never let a YouTuber join you. It is a fucking mistake. I don't, I don't, we don't, we're done, right? We don't need to sit around. I've got a video to upload and some super chats to read. I was expecting we're going to be sitting around for two hours, waiting for the results to come in slowly. This is a fucking slaughter. You know, there's a, isn't there like a mercy kill rule in football? Well, like, if you fuck the opponents just so badly, it's expected that the game is just going to end out of pity? There's got to be, there needs to be a mercy kill rule in politics. Because YouTube is getting fucking eviscerated, annihilated, utterly fucking destroyed, with no mercy right now. How embarrassing. All these London results, all dead last. All the West Midland results, all dead last. The Southwest results, all dead last. Where is that youth vote, Ger or where is the youth vote, Gerard? What happened to that youth vote? I thought Surgun was going to take the victory. It's not looking like he is. All right, now I want to, I want to double check. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. 
Uh, maybe. Oh, oh, here we go. Thank you very much. Somebody put up this picture. I think it's very fitting. Uh, it shows all the past victims of Sargon. Uh, everybody he's murdered. From his Kickstarter game to new the atheism. Uh, rationalism to anti-feminism. Gamergate. Keck. The skeptics and then the liberalists. Of course, the most recent door was UKIP. And <laughs> the final door he's knocking on. Carl Benjamin's political career. Which I think is fitting. I think that is a fitting last door for uh, Sargon to be knocking on. Wow. <laughs> this is a good one, too. Oh, fuck it. We could spend a little time looking here. There's Nigel Farage, very happy with a big-ass milkshake. And there's Carl <laughs> getting bukkake in the bottom. That's an accurate representation of what's happening at the polls right now. Oh, god damn. Up, oh, up. Oh, what do we got? What do we got here? Swindon Council? There's no way this is accurate. Well, let's take a look at the vote totals. Swindon, by the way, is uh, Carl's hometown. <laughs> okay. Ouch. So we got lots of votes. We've got, uh, let's take a look. Brexit Party, 19,000 votes followed by Lib Dems at 9,000 votes, uh, Labor Party at 7,000, Green Party at 6,000, Conservative Party at 5,000. Where's UKIP on that list? Oh, they're tied, essentially, with the cucks. I, it's second to last place in Swindon. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, you got blown the fuck out in your hometown. Ouch. That's, that's got to hurt a little bit. Oh, this is fucking amazing. I think, uh, you know, I said it earlier. I think we're going to need to add another number on the Sargon scale. The sleepiness index needs to get updated. We're going to need a level four on this motherfucker after today. Uh, total annihilation, I think, is worthy of adding a, a level four to this. I'm not sure exactly what that form is going to take, but... We are reaching negative dopamine levels. Shit's about to get a little dangerous. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I actually, I'm gonna read through some super chats. I th we're we're th this I. I think Jesus himself would have to come down from the fucking mountain. To save Sargon at this point, I just don't see it happening. So let's read some super chats. I'll read some more uh, election results as we go along. And we'll, we'll see if a miracle happens, if Sargon finds some way of pulling this out. I, I just, <laughs> I don't think so, but fuck, I could be wrong. I'm not infallible. So let, let's, uh, let me get this set up here. From Forgone, press B to brap on the soy father's grave. Woo, quite pungent, my dear. From Nicole Narrows, or <laughs> Nicole Narrows, sorry. Ethan Ralph cheated on his wife in Miami. From Autism Forums, individuals rise up, we will defend ourselves. Stay back, aim, 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 guns, necks, beards, and cowards. From Puppet Pal Clem, fap, 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 for Kekistan. From Double Zero, Applebee's waiter asks for a seat. The government says, we're all booked for the night. Keep starting, <laughs> keep staring at this little coaster, Sargon. It'll never light up. From Supreme Asian, Sargon Thanos, Car, Dace, Volt, Douge, Yang Gang, Japad. From Medicare's Lunicorn Archives, maybe saving the West was the friends we made all along. From Puppet Pal Clem, Sergen, you're going to find this insulting. You think you're more intelligent than you are, and that's a difficult place for you to be. Richard Spencer. In fact, you know what? I've got that queued up. I was actually going to use that in the video. I never got a chance to. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's play it. Should be under Smuckles. Give me a second here. Hopefully nothing shits out on me. Uh, this would be from the Richard Spencer debate. This is what Richard said to him. Fucking prophetic, really, as we watch the results of tonight unfold. Sargon, I so am I'm not going, going to say something to that you. might be the most insulting thing we've ever I heard. Will accept your apology you whenever think, you're ready to give it. Just you think that you are more intelligent <laughs> than you are. And that's actually a really tricky place to How be. How intelligent am I? I don't think you're very intelligent. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little unmerciful. It's a little hurtful. I think he he actually did this twice 
if I remember right. Uh, yeah, I've got the second clip. He called him a fucking moron twice. Sergeant, I am sorry. I, I You're going to find this insulting. You think that you are more intelligent than you are, and that is a I, difficult place for you now. to be. God, you, I, okay, I, what, no, what I'm describing I reality. I'm describing this what experience with you. You're telling me what I think, so what color? Come on. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Uh, sorry, that. No, don't give you. You just told me what I think. I don't know. What I you didn't think. tell you oh, what you my, think. Oh, I said you you have a conception of your intellectual abil abilities that are greater than reality, and that is a difficult you place for any human being to be. That, 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 that is, is my description of you, Sargon, and I am sorry, you but I have to be honest to you, and you should actually thank me for being so honest. I love the fact that not only did he call him a fucking idiot. But after calling him a fucking retard, he actually said, you should be thanking me. You should be thanking me for telling you how fucking stupid you are. You goddamn dumb dumb. Wow. Uh, from Medicare's Lunicorn Archives, again, uh, to sum things up, Carl couldn't make a game, couldn't own the libs, couldn't own the alt-right, couldn't be a father, and couldn't be a politician. Sad. Anderson Paladin chuckles in Sargonese. From Mario Carter 13, one talk with Richard Spencer and liberalism is born. One talk with Nar Nigel and UKIP is finished. One talk with Mandar and Nigard, or <laughs> Niger nerds are rising up. From Artemis Deacon, God damn it, Jim, I work at this time. Take a super. Mecker Lunacurn Archives, I wouldn't even knight you. Sargnita of England. From Mario Carter 13, does Carl the Quadroon think white people act like this? This could have all been avoided if he'd learned the code like a white man. From Double Zero, when a streaming, when a stream making fun of Sargon has more downvotes. That his party has regular votes. That's peak liberalism. From Veggie Bad, can Sargon just drop this whole change the world shit and just make YouTube videos? From Oh My God on Fire 91, Jim, are are you Spark Master Tape? I don't know who that is. From Jackson, Jim as Thunder, <laughs> Jim as Thunderfats main Triple G Black. I suggest we work together on putting on a stream where we take a look at our boy, the Commander George L. Rockwell. From JTalkie12, can I get a B for blown the fuck out? <laughs> Possible double, Sargon for PM. Nick Gurr, listening to Sargoy talk is like hearing nails on a chalkboard. From New Guardian, Jim, do you own a suit yet? I am suitless. But hopefully the proceeds of this stream will buy me a nice fancy suit so I can attend Sargon's uh, funeral for his political career. From Plant Nation, thoughts on Teddy Spaghetti from the dark stream. Or from the, <laughs> the dark stream. I don't have any thoughts. Drew Altman, get back, we will defend our suits, Smuckles. Anon Johnson, howdy Jim, working on my Leon cosplay while listening. Wish me luck banging the fat Ada Wong at my nerd convention. Where do we go here? Okay. From the Turkish Zoo, tweet it, Donald. We can still save the West, GG2. The narrator, Jim, I have a new job outside of YouTube and a 401k. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully the job works out well for you and you're very successful. A waifu in VR, I've got my best tailored suit today. From Trolita, Teddy Spaghetti, Teddy Spaghetti, Teddy Spaghetti. Steven Stromboli, match me, bro. Hope of men, Sargoon of Applebeads, and Mr. Benjamin goes to Brussels. From Lucas Cryick, JF calls his wiener Adam Sandler because everything it's been in is retarded. That's fairly accurate. From DSMT, I wouldn't even groom you. Medicare's Lunicorn Archives. Are you sure Carl isn't an SJW plant who's been on a decade-long campaign to discredit his, or discredit their critics? This man is so consistently stupid and screws everything up so much, I'm not sure that he isn't doing it on purpose. I think he's just egocentric. Sargon's a narcissist. He's too fucking full of himself to realize the dumb shit that he does. <laughs> he's fucking murdered a political party today. From Non, remember, no Bandera. This is OG, says, more homie. Sargon raped Brexit, riot. From Ninja Work 111, if Sargon wins, will you do Gamergate 3.0 with him? From Sislord Soy Blue, I can't wait for Mi er, I can't wait for Misayich to show himself and put an end to Clown World. Robert Strixon, I'm voting for Robert Strixon for president in 2024. This message is brought to you by bombislam.com. From Pharaoh Owen, you did it, boss. You sat back and let idiots implode on themselves. Mission complete. From Top Autist, when more photon. Uh, David Stay is going to do his own stream. Uh, it's coming up. I, I can't remember what he named it, but when I have a link in a specific time, I'm going to share it. Uh, he's fucking awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. 
from 08764 Sargon isn't the hero people need. He's a final nail in the coffin. Here's some shekels, Jim. Slash dot dash one two one. Tinky Winky La La Poo. From MP, have five on my sweet, sweet euros, Daddy. Call my special friend Seaman a filthy degenerate, please. Purple wave incoming. Logan Spangler, petrol, what is it? Where do I put it? Can I get a sniff it? Can I sniff it from a can? From Ash, hey Jim, been watching forever. Take my UK shekels before the pound de depreciates into minus values, you glorious yank. From Ozymandias, 3505. Okay, now this is epic. From Carnizzle, can chat give me a retard's rise up while I'm at work? Uh, chat, if you want to give him a, a retard's rise up, that'd be great. Let's go. I, I'm going to take a quick break. Let's go see if we can get some more poll results. Because why wouldn't you want to? Uh, let's see if I can screen share this with everybody. Well, let's find out what the newest voting says. Uh, results from York. Not UKIP's not even listed. From Redditch in the West Midlands, UKIP's dead last. From East of England, uh, UKIP's not listed. East of England, again, UKIP, dead last. Again, from the West Midlands, uh, dead last. From Kettering, dead last. From Bromley, dead last. From Islington, not, not even listed. God, every... I This is unbelievable. They haven't... The, the best they've done is second to last. Amazing. Yeah, again, another one from Fenland, dead last. UKIP is done. UKIP is over. The party will not recover from this. From Miguel Flores, there's a song Ralph plays occasionally. It's about blue pill, black pill, and a guy ranting about banks. Do you know what it's called for where I can find it? If not, can you ask him to tweet it or mention it? I've never heard of it. I don't, I don't know what it is. From Gabe P. Washeret, Jim, can you please post the dancing pudding from D Live for old time's sakes? I miss the army of them whenever a music played on stream. Thanks, Daddy. Um, I actually don't, uh, I don't have that GIF anymore used to have it, and I put it up, but I, I don't have it. I miss it, too. That's one thing I guess DLive has over YouTube right now is they let you put, uh, you know, emoticons and uh, GIFs and do your own stickers and shit and chat. You can't do that over here. <clears throat> YouTube tried it before, where they let people have more control over the comments they post, <laughs> and people found a way to fuck with videos. Uh, there was one glitch. I remember this from a long time ago because I used to fuck with the Young Turks, where you could enter a certain uh, code or something, in the comment section of a video or a live stream and it would scroll it as text across the video itself for everybody to see and it was so fun going on their videos and live streams and doing that and putting up horrendous things uh, that got remedied really quickly from Dio Strabo Medicare start stream makes a thousand dollars immediately from Ling or from Lynn big ups to my dude LSB and his dog Rocco or Rocky Carl Labarge Sergan got as many votes as he has dead kids <laughs> Fucking brutal. Ninja work 111. Please tell my brother Nicholas that he's a Baca. Nicholas, you are a Baca. From Darth Revan. Does anyone else notice how Sargon will demand respect from people he debates, but act like a total douchebag towards them in return? I have noticed that, yes. Network 23. Keep fucking that chicken. From Smith Wesson 2. Best fucking intro ever. Punished Huey. Imagine if Sargon actually wins, we would need, or we would indeed live in a society. From Mahola Viking. Sargon is a winner no matter what, how hard, or no matter how hard he loses. From Smith, Wesson 2, best intro. For some reason, it's repeating these. Joey, Joe, Joe, Joe. Carl, Messy, Milkshake, Man, Boy, Benjamin versus Jess, Mega, Milker, Mills, Phillips. The next male suicide Jeff laughs at will be Sargon of Akkad's. From Sea Change, hi, viewer since 2013. Thanks for the years of great content. It's fascinating that you became e-famous simply by continuing to behave like an average internet user circa 2008. It's a novelty to be normal in 2019. Retards rise up. From Missing Link, he says he's smarter than me or you, says he has a 150 IQ. Teddy Spaghetti calls cops like a rat. Teddy Spaghetti turned off his chat. Teddy Spaghetti and Milo are gay. Teddy Spaghetti, his name is Vox Day. From Killshot Kenny, they're mispronouncing Kukistan smuckles. From Double A, press S to spit on them. 1488, love you, Jim. From Kumpala1, Jim, you're not big-brained enough to understand Sargon plays 4D chess. He said he'd screw the optics and co-opted UKIP. Makes Farage look like an absolute saint in comparison. Now, no one would even vote UKIP. For Mortison, Sergen, you're not as smirt as you think you are. Lord of S'more, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm tying a noose after watching that video, Jim. 
from Jared Hart Norris. The image on the right looks like a Sargon as a newborn. From Wolfbane, ARU, <laughs> Autist, rise up. Garrett Jeffries, oi, license mate. Mega Killer X, I hope that Dankula wins. At least he has a reason to enter politics. From Dingaloo, completely irrelevant, but you might like this. Did you see Eagle Raptor refer to Game Grumps as an entertainment company and then flex on a dude that disagreed with him? From a Russian name I can't pronounce, you might not collude with Russia, but we do collude with you. From Jeremy Pavlik, don't forget, Pol, Pol has an error margin of plus minus 4%. Well, judging on the results we've been looking at, I'd say it was pretty fucking accurate. From Eduardo Ramirez. Jim, how's it feel when Sargon saves the West? It feels good. The big old Kakarino is saving us all. Alu Catbar. Cat Allah is great. A woo. From Smith Wesson to a woo. Keegan the Great. Her name is John Walker Flint, not Brianna Wu. Eddie Spaghetti. Way to kick a man when he's down. <laughs> Way to kick a man down when he's sleepy. Another nobody. Cecil McFly is pretty, pretty gay. Sorry, drunk. From Puppet, Cal Puppet Pal Clem. Brianna, woo! From Rex Durate. Teddy Spaghetti is some nerd loser going through some kind of meltdown because people won't take him seriously in his chat. Called The Dark Stream. He shut down his chat, Jim. Vox Day, the Spaghetti Boy. From A Street Lamp. Despite making up 3% of the votes, Sargon makes up 100% of the cringe. Oh, do we have more results coming in? Let's take a look. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not looking good. Uh, let me see if I can find some more here. I, I just want to try to keep, keep up to date. Holy shit, there we go. It's official, folks. Let me put this up on screen. Jared Batten, the big brain motherfucker. Uh, let's see. Jared Batten has lost his seat. Jared Batten, no longer, no longer an MEP from London. UKIP leader Jared Batten has lost his London seat. Congratulations, Gerard. We are so proud of you, buddy. Oh, so smart. You trusted Sargon, and this is what you get. You've lost everything and destroyed your party. Very good. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, just fantastic. Oh, I better hurry through these. I want to be able to go shit talk Gerard. I Gerard, Gerard, Mr. Batten. He's going to need to batten down the hatches because he's going to get a lot of angry fucking voicemails. Knocks at the door from everybody in UKIP asking why he destroyed their fucking political futures betting on a goddamn YouTuber. From Uh Oh Monster, ironic, Anita tried politics, Darp Gone joins in. From producer Chris, Spongebob is the best anime ever and Jesus loves you. I'm not involved. Time is a construct we all follow. Nothing is real. No one is here. We all die. What? <laughs> Why do we cry? 666 Grillion Nick Gers Alu Akbar. From Woodstock TC, thanks for the best stuff on YouTube. Here's something for your health costs. All the best for you and your dog from Germany. All's goot. Kill shot, Kenny. Smuckles. Jim, don't you realize this was all part of Carl's plan? If if you weren't important and smart as him, you'd get his plan to single handedly destroy UKIP. This was all a part of Gamergate 5.0. From Dogs Munch, check out Teddy Spaghetti's new hot. Hot Dish 3 PC game. Major Tom. SW Britbong here. Sargoi got publicly bullied by the locals of Plymouth and everyone laughed at him. It was truly surreal to see this idiot on my ballot. Gonna love this stream. Well, hopefully you did enjoy it. In fact, shit, you know what? This reminds me of something. Let me let me find something here. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Let me make sure. Okay. This is important. It's important when we're talking about uh, the state of UKIP and Sargon. I just want to make it clear uh, that one person, certain individual, has outlasted him. Don't want to spoil it just yet. Let me, <laughs> let me find a good picture. Yeah, uh, that one will do. That one will do right there. Uh, this man is just fucking unstoppable. He can't be, he can't be talked down. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is such a pain in the ass to do in real time. There we are. I'd like to introduce you to the person that's more successful than Sargon. DSP has never destroyed a political party. Uh, DSP has never destroyed himself in such a quick fashion, single-handedly. DSP has outlasted UKIP. Again, I repeat, Darkside Phil has outlasted UKIP. 
outlasted Gerard Batten. Who can stop this madman? <laughs> Picture fits in very well, too. Fantastic. All right, let's let's get back to the, let's get back to the chat. From Beached Coon, uh, Buckshot is a great chaser for black pills, Jim. You sad, pathetic creature. Lou Raquel, laugh my ass off. He's wearing a suit in that milkshake pic. The great rogue trader. Huh. He looks like an awful lot like a British Ben Carson. From Dog Munch, never forgetty Teddy Spaghetti. Massive damage gaming. Pay no attention to my retarded girlfriend. Ooh. Existential crisis. Sargon's live reaction to Ruckus song really highlighted to me his ego balloon. Go on and on about others taking jokes, but pretends not to know Ruckus song and is visibly upset by it. From Logan Spangler, it's the end game now. Moderator Marcy, hey, Boomer Jim, can you play some footage of Sargon and David going at it? From Jawas, Jim and Sargon indexes made my day. Any info on the David's Day follow up stream? When I have more information, I will publish it. From Skull Kid Productions, Sargon Sugar, nose candy made in Smug Po Temple. Sustaining Sargon's blessing, boost dopamine power for a time. VWBC Carry, Sargon got hit by so many milkshakes, I call him Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dark Wizard 83, Sargon was humiliated, or Sargon has humiliated himself, destroyed UKIP, lost his YouTube monetization, opened himself up to criminal prosecution, and set back the cause of free speech in the UK. But hey, at least he showed those goddamn SJWs. From the face of Team Rocket, is Spoonie even alive at this point? I believe he is. From Joe C, level 5 is a negative dopamine. Head caves in and full meltdown. John Move, uh, from John Moon, John Bolden will save the Aryan race from global cosmic terror. John Bolden will save your chat from the inevitable void from the global hominids. Sweet as sadist. Sargon probably pretends this was his plan. He'll claim he wanted attention drawn to Brexit, so he made himself a candidate to take one for the team. <laughs> this was not his plan. This dumb, bumbling fuck. <laughs> Destroy yourself to own the libs. Brilliant plan. Real smart. Good, uh, good, good choice. From Fuzzy Pickles, you can get Super Chats. Exceptionalism can't trump the great Medicare. By the way, knew of you long before you became Mr. Medicare. From Blue Satoshi, David Stay is going to be on the Ralph Retort tomorrow on DLive ta or DLive.tv slash the Ralph Retort. From Goldie, nobody should ever get milkshake thrown at them, and Sargon is a nobody. From Farm Master Flex, some money for a shake from McDonald's to Huck a at Burger King. Moderator Marcy. My prediction is when Sargon loses, he might try to switch sides somehow like or sides somehow like David, or blame and trigger the alt right like Baked Alaska. From Serendipity Multimedia Arts, watch you since 2014. Love your humor. Sargon was a net plus. No, he knew he was going to lose. He's done dumb shit. Most blunders were from before his candidacy. Do you think he shouldn't have run? Well, for my thoughts on his political campaign, once this stream is done, it should take 20 to 30 minutes after. Uh, I'll have a video uploaded with my thoughts on Sargon's political campaign. From Slanish Butts, Jim's come tastes good, Lamau. Shake and bake. Dude, I've been watching you since Jim81 Jim days, and I love your stuff. Always wanted to ask you, do you read or watch Hajime no Ippo? Uh, yes, I've actually watched that. Um, they, like, they had the majority of subbed episodes up on YouTube. It's good shit. Dempsey Rolla, motherfucker. From Arfnick Miller, does Murderer even stream anymore? No idea. Big Mike, enjoy this delicious superberry. Thanks for all the tremendous entertainment throughout the years. Sir Autismo, Sargon, do you believe in puddles? Dr. Murdoch. Mike's content. Have you heard the tale of Ted Word Spighedward? He is a neo-Nazi neo game developer. Check out Hot Dish the Game. No annoying loot boxes or plot of any kind. From Dr. YouTube Burglar. Teddy Vox Day Spaghetti wants you in on his unauthorized TV scam. Says he can't pay, but will put you in his game Hot Dish 3 or Dry Paint. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Vox Day. <laughs> why, why everybody's calling him Teddy Spaghetti? I've been so focused on the stupid fucking MEP run that I, I've missed something. Obviously, something highly entertaining has happened when I wasn't paying attention. From Johnny Sparron, Sargon is truly UKIP's best rep. From White Keck, check out Tommy Robinson, or how he did. Um, I don't know if the results are in. Like, you know what? I'll check. Let me see. Let's find out how Tommy Robinson did. Oh, no. He ran as independent, didn't he? He wasn't in UKIP. All right. Let's see if we can find him. I, I don't even know. 
Uh, give me one second here. I'll see if I can find some information on him. Uh, shit. Okay, let's let's see if we can find more here. Uh, one second. One second. If, if I can't find it, I'll look it up later and I'll try to uh, have my good buddy, Mr. Anti-Bully, tweet it out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it yet. Uh, maybe he did better? I mean, if he ran as an independent, he doesn't have Sargon's fucking Reaper curse on him. So maybe he had a shot. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know, honestly. Slug to the chest. Great success in Bort, or Borat voice from moderator Marcy. Well, Daddy Jim, it's, I guess it's over. Sargon not only destroyed an entire political party, but made a fool of himself in the mainstream media. But he also lost to the cucks. From Son of Tiamat. Move over Wings of Redemption. Sit the hell down, Pro Jared. Let me show you how a real internet local self-immolates. Sergan of Candy Nose. You know, God, I gotta give it to Murdoch Murdoch. Uh, they... Murdoch Murdoch and Spencer, I think, really nailed it very early on uh, with their assessment. I, and again, I don't think it was necessarily focused at politics, but they picked up on some key characteristics, I think, that have really shown through uh, during this political season. From Jean Arc... Dear God, can you imagine the smug from Sargon if he gets in? Watch all those white ends rage quit and run away from Bongland. God bless the land down under. From Trolita, have you ever played the game Hot Dish? <laughs> no, I have not. From Chris Nunez, Papa Medicare, what's your take on YouTube generalizing hiding subscriber actual numbers? Do you think it will be the further nail in the coffin? Uh, from what I understand, they're just... they're. They're turning off real-time updates. They're still doing daily updates. There'll still be a total of subscribers. Uh, but it fucks with third-party sites like, uh, uh, what is it, Social Blade. Um, Social Blade's useful. When Blizzard was, when Blizzard put out their newest Diablo, the uh, mobile game one, uh, they, th there was evidence of them tampering with likes and dislikes as well as comments. Now, Social Blade, it pulls all the information and it updates it in real time, but it always keeps the top tally. So you could look at the Social Blade page for that particular video on Blizzard's YouTube account and could see the discrepancy between comments and likes. Uh, without Social Blade, you'd never know that. So unless somebody is there archiving it with Archive, uh, you're, you're never going to have something to fall back on to see if some corporation or company is fucking with their videos and how they're received. So I guess get ready for a bunch of uh, all-female Ghostbuster trailers in the next five years that are going to have... Uh, <laughs> Have nothing but thumbs up because nobody will be able to tell. From Crichton, please call my friend Denise a mongoloid. Well, there you go, Denise. RPG or 90. How long before good old Carl claims Russia stole the election? Josie Carl on Suicide Watch. From Backside Filth, Jim play Eve of Destruction by Johnny Thunders. Larry Banks, even if he wins, he would have to delete his donation account like Subscribestar because it's against the law, so now he's losing most of not all of his money. From Rights Right, your stream was timed perfectly with my day, and you deserve money for that. The greatest rogue trader tips hat to Kekistan. From Nicholas Russell, I don't have a poster, but I have a nice little comic I threw together on the fly if you're interested. Uh, if you haven't played Spec Ops, you might not get the joke. I'll definitely check it out. <clears throat> From Joan Ark again, press S to spit on UKIP. Uh, do we have more results coming in? Uh, what do you know? UKIP dead last. Is there a point to even looking at the results anymore? I, I don't think so. I think at this point, it's done. From Blitzky, Jim, you just don't understand. Stargon has a suit. A suit, Jim. Everything's going according to plan. Our feeble minds just can't comprehend the tactics behind losing in every poll. <laughs> From Antares, oh, Carl, why wouldn't or why couldn't you have just finished your terrible game and faded into obscurity instead of displaying yourself internationally as a moron? From Leo Convoy's reviews, this man has a family he's supposed to be supporting, and he's pissed that to, or he's pissed that away to try and feed his ego, only to make a literal worldwide fool of himself, both amazing and sad. From Warp Corps, Joey Salads is running for Congress. You need to pay attention to that. From Nactalo 5710, Sir Hamster will ban you if you mention Teddy Spaghetti or Revenge of the Sis. Uh, you don't want the dreaded FM, <laughs> VFM of Vox Day after you Medicare. Again, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I'll have to look into it. The vile delinquent. Maybe his 20-year plan is to go from party until, uh, from party to party until they are all dead and they reinstitute a monarchy. From down forward punch, Jim, any new thoughts on the Worski hacking? I, I put up my thoughts on that. Uh, there's some suspicious shit with it. I, 
I don't know what to fucking tell you. That guy, every every it's like every week something's going on with that shit. Um, I found it awkward that he got his account back miraculously 20 minutes after she threatened to go to the police. Uh, that he didn't do a video right away when he was hacked. That the hacker didn't put up any information that was embarrassing. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. But then again, on the other side of it, it's the girl that, um, what is his name? Uh, Ian was pissed at. I, there's, it's just fucking weird. I haven't had a lot of time to look super deep into it. Again, this has been my primary focus in laughing at this stupid shit. So you'll have to forgive me. From Omega Man, how much you bet Sargon says he planned it to prevent a split vote for Brexit? Well, I, I don't know if admitting that you intentionally sabotaged a political process uh, and an underhanded me, you know, I think that puts him at legal liability if he's stupid enough to say that. From Gene Lands, Sargon should have stuck to This Week in Stupid. From DD Link 7, Octune, thanks for all the great content. Jimbo wanted to give something back. From White the Knight, did, Jim, did you know people can now synth your voice? Fantastic. A skilled Roy, when do you, uh, when do we get to see Monday and Matt run for office? <laughs> I, you know, Monday and Matt actually might do better than Sargon, all things considered. From DC Media Girl, excellent live election coverage. Layla Rocks, Twitter ban, Patreon ban, YouTube channel just demonetized, crash UKIP with no survivors. Is he going to kill himself, bros? I don't know. Chat, you'll have to answer that. Uh, La Lana Rocks wants to know, is Sargon going to off himself? at the uh, results he's received this evening. From Duralex said Lex, nothing entertaining has happened. These losers literally have a Reddit thread to run gay ops against Vox because they're triggered at Owen Benjamin. Disregard. From Sarah XX, Phil looks like he's wanking off to both Sarkon's pictures. Emp Eno, Oive $5 to get my message read. How on earth do I pay two fifty for a simple donation? What do you even get $0.75 cents for? Oi Gavolt. From Gerp Garb, I'm sure you've heard of Chili's or Top 15. His voice has gotten worse since the Burger King foot lettuce meme. Also, keep up the good work. Have shekels. From Sergei Veselov. Quick question. Is Scout your favorite class in Team Fortress? Uh, yeah, actually. From Optimistic Nihilist. What, who do you think Sargon will blame? I don't know. He, oh, he's going to he, I'll tell you who he's going to blame. He's going to blame the mainstream media. He's going to blame people making fun of him on the internet. Uh, he's going to blame everybody but the one person he should be blaming which is his own stupid ass. From Lurik L, Sargon used self-destruct. It's super effective. Fionn McRon, on the bright side, there are no more ball pits in the East European Parliament. From Goldzer, DSP is in a position as high as a country's leader. Would be great when he would address any military losses. From Mike's content, check out Blue's, Blue's Dolls channel. The Mind Corporation, at least we aren't in Europe. From Dame Pesos, DSP's wife didn't abort her baby. Soygon is the worst. Lazy B, did they sell rope at Applebee's? <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Muhala Viking, the hate is swelling in you now. Mike's content, 444, Vox Day is a bore. Somebody touch my Teddy Spaghetti. Catch the dork stream every day. Check with your local dry mouth boomer for times. From CC, shout outs to my boy, LSB, king of the detractors. From Nathaniel Esposito, Sargon may not, <laughs> Sargon, Sargon may not rape Jess, but he sure did rape UKIP. From James Bionic, Chatelet dudes, can I get a SRU Kakarinos? From Ishak Zamani, let's get a round of applause for Jeb for winning all the seats. Long live the Guacman Jeb. I think I finally caught up. Let me see here. From Aru Spice, since the stream was cut short, sent you some stuff on Twitter to look at. Uh, from Sisirkshire, hey Jim, uh, always enjoyed your attitude about poking fun at smug idiots. Have you seen Porcelain Sargon documentary? Uh, yeah, I did. I thought it was good. I saw his documentary, and then I saw that uh, there were some based Kakarinos that were upset about it. From James Durden, I live in Sargon's hometown and saw Sargon on the bus a few days ago. He had his head down and was furiously typing away on his phone. All I saw was, Jim is a child groomer. It was pretty strange. Can I get a retard's rise up and chat? <laughs> uh, I could see it. I could see that happening. Stone, by the way, why don't you watch the Sky News live stream? Because I think at this point we know what's happened. I, I don't imagine we're going to get surprised. From Iron Wolf Spear, me and my family are selling our business, New York City anti-small business. But my family will become part of the 1%. What if I missed? Also, the guy buying our business is going to fire the two kings we hired, LOL. Oh, we're just going over the election results. Not looking good for you, Kip. From Hugh Janus, just want to say congrats to Sargon. Now we get to live in a town where you are known as Mr. Rape. You and your family will probably be getting hit with milkshakes well in the future. 
from John Lannis. Actually, instead of going back to YouTube, you should go to Applebee's instead. From Allo Rhythm, say hello to my buddies Wesker, Banjoed, Canuck, Marco Man, for me, Jim. They're big fans. Uh, I think I've got everybody here. Hans Olfsen, level four, eternal sleep. From Uni, don't try to be too mean to Batten. He is a little bit autistic, but his political positions are sincere and reasonable. He might be naive, but he's a good guy. No, I'm sorry. If you're the leader of a political movement and you fuck up this badly, it doesn't matter if you're a nice guy. You know, uh, it's politics. Politics needs victories, not niceties. You know, I'm uh, sorry for his loss, but he made the wrong decision. From Road Warrior 2, Ukip's dead. Sargon can mount its head on the wall. I don't think Sargon himself will suffer that much personal detriment. To be honest, I think the result was obvious from the moment Farage left the party. From Deity Link, okay, I think we're caught up now. If I missed your super chat, I apologize. I tried to hit them all. Uh, you've been watching the live stream of Sargon's political results. <sighs> There's, there, I, I don't see why we'd be waiting for any more. It's, it's over. Uh, yeah, again, uh, I'm looking at the results right now for three new locations. From Norwich, UKIP dead last. Balsover, UKIP dead last. Petersboro, uh, UKIP dead last. Lewisham. You kept dead last. They have been completely and utterly destroyed. Uh, I don't know how they're going to survive. Uh, got a few more here. I'll read through them real quick. Existential crisis. So maybe YouTubers should stay on YouTube and shut the fuck up about saving civilization. Very good suggestion. From Anarez. Stop sending super chats so we can watch the video. Engage B in the chat. Half Black Nigga. 444 Gamma Squad. Rise up. Edward Ramirez. Shout out to Almighty Egg Gang and Gudenich de, de Reich. Skinny Doofus, Bing Bing Wahoo, Exterminatus, the Britties, and Jews. From Vern Outer, call Perry a big stinky gay, Jimbo. Uh, Perry, you're a big stinky gay. That's from your, your buddy Vern Outer. Uh, butchering your names now at this point. Okay, I, th I think we're caught up again if I missed your chat. I am, I am sorry. Uh, one last one here from Josh Moon. John Bolden, I thought about just driving into the forest and wrecking my car and just swallowing a 12-gauge and just ending it all. Apparently... John is having a difficult day today. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, I expected it to go longer. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't expecting the results until about another half an hour. But based on what I've seen so far, UKIP is dead. Uh, that's, that's on Sargon. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, the video will be up within the next 20 to 30 minutes. A copy of the stream will be up on Hell's channel later this evening. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm sure you're going to have a much better time than Sargon is. In fact, I think everybody is going to have a much better time than Sargon is. <laughs> you know, once... I'm just going to put this up here for, for old time's sakes. Uh, let, let's uh, let Sargon's army send us off. Have a, good, have a good rest of your Sunday chat, and I will see you later on. I am Kekistan. I'm Brockus, and I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am a pure Kekistani. You can tell by my wooly hair that I have 100% Kekistani genes in my blood. I am Kekistan. 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 We are Kekistan. I am 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 Kekistan, motherfuckers. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan.